Hey everyone. I've been thinking a lot lately. Kind of what else is new. Um, actually, I've had people tell me that I think too much or I'm a little intense. Really what those things mean is that I just need a place to put some things. So, luckily for you, this is where I'm putting this today. Um, I was thinking, I was Thinking back to a couple years ago, I had a great opportunity to go to a harp conference and teach a workshop called what I called Songs Without Words. And it was kind of a reaction to um, the idea that music uh, ideas are best conveyed through music by using lyrics. I'm not a singer. I mean, I could probably be a singer if I worked at it, but that's not where I want to be putting my energy. <laughs> so my music, I'm an instrumentalist. Everything comes through the harp. And I did some intense work years ago now um, around performance, kind of improv theater based. If you get my newsletter, you, you've seen me and heard me talk about it. Um, but one of the concepts there, and this is, and I'm, this is related to my workshop because it, it has similar ideas. I was so excited to present that workshop because, you know, it was talking about how to convey something without the use of language, which ironically, I'm using words right now to try to explain this to you. <laughs> but, you know, obviously words matter. They matter a lot. But so does our intention. And before, you know, that word is thrown out around a lot. And, it, and I'm not using it here in any kind of new age sense or religious sense. Um, I'm using it in describing how to be present in the everyday. Performers need to do this all the time. Parents need to do this all the time. You know, how conscious am I? What am I, I? What am I doing in this moment? So some of this work in the improv workshop was called it was premise work, and I will completely condense and summarize it here. But basically, and I'll, I'll put links below for for other resources to look further into this. But basically, it is if not if when I hold an idea, when I really, really hold it, and I operate from only that space, where I can let myself focus only on that concept, that idea, can I convey what I mean through it? Can I convey meaning without words? I love this idea and it isn't, it's something that requires practice. It requires practice in a lot of ways. First at your instrument, building a toolbox from which you can um, pull ideas and samples to, to then perform in a way like this. It requires practice to just sit down and consciously try it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. This is probably not the best way to do it, but what the hell, I'm doing it this way. So I'm going to hold a premise while I play, briefly. And I'd love to hear what you got from it, what you saw, what you felt, what you heard. And, and we'll just see what happens. This is actually what I'm doing a lot in my improv videos anyway but I've just never talked about it. And there's so much to say about it. So I'll probably say more later. So here we go. I'm going to hold an idea and we'll see if I convey it to you.
Tell me what you got. Thanks, everybody. Peace.